Ever wonder what creatinine means on your blood test reports? Stay tuned, let's find out. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, make a comment, and then subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor, nephrologist, and I'm also the cooking doc. I spend most of my days either in the hospital or in the office or in the dialysis center taking care of people who have kidney disease or who are at risk for kidney disease. One of the things that I use and that all doctors use to help figure out how well somebody's kidneys are working is a measure called creatinine. Creatinine, which is different than creatine, shows up on your blood work in something called a renal panel or a basic metabolic panel or a comprehensive metabolic panel. And it is one of the best ways that we have to understand how well your kidneys are filtering because that's what the kidneys do. That's one of the things that those great kidney organs do in your body is they filter out waste products. Now it's very difficult to see exactly how the kidneys are filtering. It's cumbersome, the tests can be expensive, and so we use the creatinine as a surrogate or as an estimate marker for how well kidneys are filtering out waste products in your body. Creatinine itself is something that everybody has in their body. And what happens is that it comes from muscle cells. So everybody's got muscles in their body and those muscle cells go through a cycle where new muscle cells are formed and old muscle cells die. And that's just the nature of turnover of cells in everybody's body. Now when those cells die, they release creatinine into the blood. And that creatinine circles around the blood until it goes through the kidneys and then the kidneys excrete some of that creatinine into the urine. That's their job. So if the kidneys are not filtering as well as they should, that creatinine level will go up. Kind of like a sink with a drain. So if that drain is working properly, all the water will be coming and filtering through. But if that drain is not working properly or is clogged, that drain will fill up a little bit and much more slowly get rid of things. And your kidneys are the same way. So if the kidneys aren't filtering right, you can get a rise in the creatinine in your blood. So we as doctors and other medical practitioners use that creatinine as an estimate to see how well your kidneys are filtering everything else and it's a pretty good measure. A typical reading in the blood is anywhere from 0.6 to 1.3, but is dependent on a lot of different things. So while creatinine is one of the best things that we have to measure how well your kidneys are working, it is absolutely not perfect, and there are some caveats that we need to consider when trying to figure out how well that creatinine measure actually reflects your kidney function. So let's talk about them. First, creatinine comes from the breakdown of muscles, as we talked about. So somebody who is really muscular is producing more and more creatinine every day. They have more muscle cells that are dying, more creatinine released in the blood, and if that's you, your creatinine may typically, in your blood, be a little bit higher. Because even though your kidneys are filtering out as much as they can, Sometimes they can't handle really, really high levels of creatinine. So muscular people often have a higher creatinine in their blood, even with normal kidney function. That's one of the reasons why creatinine is not a perfect measure of how well the kidneys are filtering. Now, this is different for everybody. So does not apply necessarily to your circumstance. And again, I am a doctor, but I am not your doctor. So make sure that your doctor or your nurse practitioner or your physician's assistant is interpreting the, your labs with you in mind. This is generic information. The creatinine can also work the other way. If you are really skinny or malnourished and don't have a lot of muscle mass, then your body is just not gonna create a lot of creatinine. Here's the bottom line is muscle mass can impact 
the creatinine levels in your blood and that is one of the reasons why the creatinine is not a perfect measure for how well your kidneys are filtering. Other things can also impact the creatinine. Medicines can make it go up. Certain medicines change the way that your kidneys process creatinine and so depending on what medicines you are may make your creatinine look higher. That can happen both with a change in how your kidneys are processing everything else and without a change in how the kidneys are processing everything else. That's why doctor interpretation of the blood work is so important and you can't just look at your blood readings and get an understanding for exactly what's going on based on that creatinine. You need an expert opinion like a kidney doctor like me. Lastly, there are things that you can eat that can impact your creatinine levels. The most important one is creatine. Now, creatine is not creatinine, but creatine is used as a supplement for bodybuilders, helps build muscle. Now that creatine is converted into creatinine in the body. And so people who have a large intake of creatine because they're trying to build muscle mass often can have a higher creatinine level in their blood because of all that creatine. Does this happen every time? No. Do you need a doctor's interpretation? Yes. 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 The other thing that has been shown sometimes to increase the creatinine level in the blood is really high animal protein diets, especially right after you have a large animal protein meal. So if you were to eat a 48 ounce steak before having your blood work done, it's very possible that that can cause a transient, meaning a temporary and short-lived increase in creatinine in your blood. The most recent study I looked at showed that that should last less than 12 hours and only happens if you eat a gargantuan amount of meat, which you shouldn't be doing anyway because it is bad for your kidneys and bad for your heart. So it probably isn't affecting you because I know you're not doing that, but it's interesting to know. If you're just eating a typical meat diet or animal protein diet, it shouldn't have too much effect on that level in your blood. This is for massive meat feasts and blood work that's done almost immediately after you have that large amount of meat intake. What else do you need to know about creatinine? Creatinine is used then to go into a formula to help measure the GFR your estimated glomerular filtration rate of your kidneys. So you'll also see that on your blood work. That'll tell us a little more specifically how well your kidneys are filtering. And finally, if you get dehydrated, volume depleted, out in the sun, not eating or drinking well, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, those kind of things, that can definitely make the creatinine go up. So creatinine is a vital measure for us kidney doctors to use to see how well your kidneys are filtering. It's not perfect and make sure you discuss your results with your doctor or your practitioner. It is important for us to see, but not the be all end all for how well your kidneys are actually working. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake, I'm board certified nephrologist and I'm also the cooking doc. I hope you learned something about creatinine and kidney function. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and share this video and we will see you next time.